ninth one what do people got uh ma'am ninth one you find the r hmm so you want this is the ninth one but a uh, ninth one we discussed now in the previous class yes, yes. ma'am you didn't did naisha ma'am we no. did this uh last time i got the wrong answer i think i again okay. sorry so could you just yeah tell me what you got uh for the simple interest i got 432 and amount i got 1632 hmm b1 uh 1125 simple interest amount 8625 correct okay so 10th one what do people got as a rate of interest uh mm hmm mm hmm well interest mm -hmm. Uh, I'm getting some audio, audio from somewhere. From Naisha's place. Hello. Okay, wait a minute. Now I'm just getting one audio. Let me check where from where I'm getting. Yes, Naisha, you can continue. Nice job. Uh, so, hmm. uh, one by four is the answer for the tenth one. Hmm. One by four. Everybody, one by four. When you will solve it, what you will get? Zero point two five. Everybody got this. Oh yes. The eleventh one. What do you people? Uh, you didn't get zero point two five for the tenth one. No, oh, I'm not caught. Uh, Tashi. Ma'am, you got the same zero point two five. Yes, sir. Okay, for the eleventh one. For the eleventh one, we got the answer is five hundred. Both of you. Yes, no, no. Yes, tell me. Sorry, ma'am. You got the same five hundred. Ah, uh, for which one, ma'am? Last one. Last one. Hmm. Wait, ma'am. Ah, uh, can I check? Yes, yes, yes. Check it and tell me you got the five hundred or not. And after that, I will give you people two or five minutes. Two minutes. Five hundred. Correct answer. Yes, five hundred is the correct answer. Okay. So now you people will revise all the concept. Then I will show you the assignment which you people will do. Fine. Discuss uh the. A uh, question which I asked to his yes, sense of motion ah, machine. Tell me. Hmm. Tell me. Tell me the question. Do he sells hmm. a washing machine for hmm. rupees uh, thirteen thousand five hundred? Hmm. She loses Hello, twenty percent. Yes, guys. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So, guys, basically today we will be doing an assignment. Right, so whatever you know for this chapter, whatever, just try to solve it. Okay, from next class we'll start with the algebraic expression. Uh, okay, I think I told you I will start. We will start from uh, rational numbers. Is it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, right, because ma uh, yeah, because uh, yes, because Naisha has her exam. Okay, so let's just do the rational number from next class, and then after that we will do algebraic ex expression. Tashin, fine. Yes. Yes, ma'am. No problem. Okay. Ah, tell me, tell me. Yes, do he do he one question? Do he sells a washing machine, washing machine for rupees thirteen thousand five hundred? She loses twenty percent in the bargain. What was the price she bought? So you have to find CP, right? Hmm. Yes, ma. Hmm. So what do you want for CP? What you got? 
Nice job. Yes, ma'am. But you got the answer. No, ma'am, I couldn't understand. Okay, you didn't understand. Okay, okay. See, first of all, okay, do it. First of all, find 20 per uh, this. Find SP. Uh, sorry, from, you have to just find the CP. First, find the loss. How to find the loss? 20% of X. Yes, ma'am. Yes, find it. Uh, loss percent is equal to loss by CP into 100. Hmm. CP is not given to you, right? So you will take it X, right? Okay, solve it. I'm just uh, bringing my notepad. I have to connect it and then I'll solve, okay? Which question we have to solve? The sixth one. Thank you, Naisha. You're welcome. Uh, yes, tell me. Ma'am, for this both... CP yeah, that's it. You were saying something? Yeah, uh, Tashin, yeah. were you saying something when I was not here? No, ma'am. I was just asking Naisha what question we are supposed to solve. Okay, okay. You have to know. You, you don't have to solve anything. Actually, she was facing difficulty in one question. So, the oh. Juhi ones. Yes. Uh, I'm doing it. Everybody have a look over here. Right? Let me just bring the question here first. Where is Juhi? Tashin, you did it. Uh, sorry, Naisha, you did it. You got it or not? This both the CP and uh, loss is not given, so I can't understand how to solve with okay. with the formula. Okay, I'll do it. So over here, what is given? SP is given to you people, right? And why? Because CP is not given, so SP is given, which is thirteen thousand five hundred, right? What is given to you is loss percentage, which is twenty percent. Right? So, over here, first of all, you will find 20% of what is CP. Right? But CP is not given, so you will take it X. Okay? So, 20% of X would be 20 by 100 multiply by X. 0 and 0 got cancelled. 2 ones are and 2 fives are. So, this is your 1 upon 5X is your loss. Fine with everybody? Yes? This is your yes, loss. Okay, this is your loss. Now, what is SP basically? From CP, if you subtract loss, you get your SP. Right? So, SP was already given to you, which is 13,500. CP, you took it X. And what was the loss? 1 upon 5, like this. Right? So, first, you can solve it here. 5, 5X minus X, 1X. Right? So, 13, 5, 0, 0 equals to 4x by 5. This 5 will go this side. So, when you multiply it, what do you get? Tell me. Mm -hmm. What you get? Tell me, tell me. Multiply it and tell me the answer. Ma'am, which one do we have to multiply? This one, this one. This. 5 will go this side. So, this equals to 4x. Right? Uh, Ma'am, uh, can you give us time to multiply? Yes, yes. Sorry, Ma'am. I didn't understand the question. Okay, okay. I'll explain it again. Don't worry. Ma'am, x is equal to mm -hmm. 67,500. Mm -hmm. And when you will solve this? 
to subtract no 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 you will solve this now solve the board what i've written 6 yeah, yeah. double zero divided by 4 oh yeah i have to Ma'am, it's a uh, sixteen thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. Yes. So, what is your CP? Your CP is sixteen eight seven five, right? Now, forget about everything. I'll tell you how to do it again. Okay. So, in the question, see, read the question. See, when CP is given, it becomes very easy, right? So, over here, Juhi sells the washing machine for this. SP is given because sells, right? Loss percentage is given, which is 20%, right? To find loss, you have two methods, right? Which is loss percentage by CP multiplied by 100, right? This is the one formula, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. This is loss percentage formula, yes? Aisha? Naisha? Yes, ma'am. Right? So, are you using this method or this method? Loss percentage equal to loss okay. by CP. What is loss percentage? 20. Equals to loss you don't know. Right? A CP you can take X. Multiply by 100. Right? So over here, this X will go this side. Right? Yes. 100 multiply by loss. And this will go this side. This. And then over here. It would be, this 100 is in multiplication. So, this will come here. So, it will be 20x by 100 equals to loss. 0 and 0 get cancelled. This. So, here also you got x by 5 equals to loss. Getting it? How you got it? Ma'am, I think Daisha is having confusion in the x part. Like, uh, when there is x over there, then they're taking it to 100, I mean 20 and then making it 20x. See, it is in division. Na? That's why when you will bring this x this side, then it will be in multiplication. That's why it became 20x. Because in simple equations, the uh, we have to do the opposite to both sides. Yes. Naisha, you got it now? Or not? Naisha, you learned the simple equation chapter? Yeah. Uh, so, it's just mm -hmm. like that. You just have to... Uh, you just have to do the opposite and make the 20 into 20x and then divide Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Naisha, what problem you are getting in this question? I am just uh, giving you two statements, okay? Even after that, if you didn't get it, you will tell me where, like, what confusion is there, right? So, you, you will get two type of question. Question number one will be where loss percentage or profit percentage would be given to you and CP is given to you, right? At that time, it's very simple, right? Quickly find the loss and do the sum. Right? The second question would be that loss percentage is given to you. Either profit percentage would be given to you. But in this case, CP would be, SP would be given to you. So, in this case, whenever form, see, in this formula, you need CP, right? To form the loss, right? So, in this case, you are going to take CPX and then find the loss in terms of X, right? But in this case, where CP is already given, you don't have to worry about anything, right? Nah. Okay, so now Naisha do it on your own. This is the formula. Loss equals to, loss percentage equals to loss divided by CP multiplied by 100. Find loss. Your loss percentage is 20 and your CP is X. Find me the value of loss. Quickly. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Others, you already knew it, so you can copy it down. Like, you can start solving the question, right? This is the thing, yes, only. Uh, loss percentage is given, CP is given. So, everybody find loss first, okay? Everybody find the loss and tell me the answer.
explain the last part to me? Last part? This? Or the next one? Yes, ma'am. This one? Okay, everybody is done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Guys, you are also done? You got the loss? No? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, I am doing it. Okay, I have already done it. So, let's see. I am doing it again so that you people don't get it. Loss percentage was 20. Loss is not given. CP was X and the 100. Right? This X is in division. Whenever you have to find something, you have to make that person alone. So, you have to make the loss alone. Now, this 100, X will go this side. So, it will become 20 multiplied by X equals to loss multiplied by 100. Right? So, 20 multiplied by X would give you 20X equals to loss multiplied by 100. Now, you have to make this loss alone. So, this 100 will go this side, which will be 20X by 100. Why uh, it is in division? Because it was in multiplication. Right? And why this X was in multiplication? Because this was in division. Right? Equals to loss. So, now this is the scenario over here. 20X by 100 equals to loss. So, 0 and 0 got cancelled. 2 1s are and 2 5s are. So, you got 1 upon 5X equals to loss. This is your loss. Yes? Now, what you have to find, you have to find, this is the formula, SP equals to CP minus loss, right? So, SP is already given to you. What was your SP? Tell me. 13,000. 13,000? Let me read the question. Yes, 13,500, right? So, SP was 13,500 and CP was X. Loss was 1 upon X upon 5. Yes. So, first of all, this is not in the correct form. So, you can write 1 here and you will solve it. LCM would be 5. I hope you know that how to solve. Right? So, in one table, 5 comes at 5 times. So, 5 multiplied by whatever the numerator is. X minus 5. In 5 table, 5 comes at 1 time. So, 1 multiplied by 1X. Right? So, it became 5X minus... 1x upon 5, right? Here you are writing 13,500. So, from 5x, if 1x will be removed, 4x by 5 and 13, 5, 0, 0. So, now this 5 is in multiplication here. So, 13, 5, 0, 0 multiplied by 5 equals to 4x. So, once you solve it, you get 6, 7, 5, 0. 6, 7, 5, 0, 0 equals to 4x. Now you have to find this x. So this 4 will go down. 6, 7, 5, 0, 0 divided by 4 equals to x. You will divide it. You are getting 16, 8, 7, 5. 16, 8, 7, 5 which is your x and their x is your cp. Fine? Yes, right? So those who are facing difficulty yeah. here solving this and this, don't worry. When we will do rational numbers, I will teach this again, this concept. Okay? So now everybody can saw, write it down. Okay. And then we will yes. move to the next part. Okay. Have you said you're going to take test? Uh, yes. After we, I will give you the questions. Because we are not left with much time. So I'm just, let's see. Ajo.
answer as one six seven five zero. Got it. Finally. Yes, ma'am. You got it. Everybody got it. This question. Anyone who is facing difficulty? Yes, ma'am. Okay, guys, you also got it. Guys, I just have one slight doubt. Yes, tell me. Um, after when you uh do the this c s p equals c p minus loss. Hmm. Then x uh, x divided by 1. Then how does 1x come from when we already solved x? Where we solved x? We solved x as what, uh, x is equal to 1 divided by 5. But hmm. then uh, uh, this, uh, hmm. this uh, you wrote 1x. Yes, because whenever like this was the question. Right? I took the LCM. So LCM, according to LCM, LCM works like this. In one table, 5 comes at how many times? 1, 5 is a 5. So I wrote here 5. Multiply by whatever is written in the numerator. That's why I multiplied it with x. Then minus. Then in 5 table, 5 comes at how many times? 1. Multiply by what is written here? 1x. Even if you don't write 1x, you can simply write x. Both are the same thing. x or 1x. Both are the same thing. Fine? No, ma'am. I'm asking why did you write 1x in the division when you when you already found the x and, it's, and it is uh, uh, like solved? Where, where you find x? Ma'am, x is equal to 1 divided by 5. Loss. No. No. Here you find loss. Loss equals to 1 upon x by 5. Oh, okay, ma'am. <laughs> Fine. And here you have to find, that's why you put it here. Fine? Yes. Right? Here you find loss, not x. x is your CP. Right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm done also. Can you give the questions now? Okay, so I hope everybody is done. So let's just move to the questions. Yes. Should we start with the questions? Or you want five minutes for revision? Uh, no, ma'am, that's fine. We can uh, start with the questions. Uh, for Naisha also fine? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hmm. You can start with here. Okay, very short answers.
हेलो मैम यस गाइस मैम फॉर मी फ्यू मिनट्स अगो लाइक एवरीथिंग वाज स्टक एंड इट डिडंट मूव एट ऑल मैम एंड देन लेटर आई गॉट डिसकनेक्टेड मैम uh okay might be facing some dead network issues i have just given few questions just try to solve this guys as you were not there in the class from last few days na so might be you didn't get it but try at least try it okay yes, because from next class we'll start with a new chapter so it will be fine with you as well right
Ma'am, can you scroll down?
हेलो मैम यस गाइस नो मैम आई वाज जस्ट चेकिंग इफ आई गॉट इफ इट वाज स्टक और नॉट मैम नो 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 यू आर हियर ओनली 